Greetings, my Mall Maniacs! Spencer Man, Bill, Bad Spencer Booker, coming to you with an update. This is my third entry into this Facebook Century of Conflict build. Go on Facebook, go under the group build group, on the groups. Find the group build group, and that's where we'll be having this uh, cool thing. This is my third entry. I'm going to be doing a Polish TK3 tankette. There we go. Uh, it's an RPM kit, uh, 35th scale, uh, you know, kind of basic. I don't know if you guys ever built them, but they're kind of basic, but does have link and link tracks. So no crappy vinyl tracks. Decal's a little sketchy. Yeah, sketchy. We'll see what we can do. Really intricate, complex uh, suspension. All this will have to be painted before it even goes on to get all the nooks. Didn't have no interior at all, just an empty box, so I got out the styrene and slapped together an interior, used references off the interweb. Ah, build made. 90% of this is going to be hidden, so craziness abounds. Even did the gas tank, the radiator, the battery, all that shit will be hidden. All will be hidden. At least you get to see it in the raw form here. Raw, baby, give it to me, raw. Even did interior work on the inside of the hull structure, you know, the ventilation system, big brass grill. Open up one of the hatches up front so you can see the guy driving. You can see clearly now the rain is fall. Checking the fit. The top hull fit at the bottom hall crappy. I had to put a whole bunch of styrene in there and shim it up. Like I said, I had to paint all this beforehand because you can't get to it once it gets on the vehicle. Paint up the interior. Oh, 90% will be hidden. Uh, so why even do it? <laughs> even board out the headlight. Put some clear acetate in there. Make it look a little more fidelity of detail. Oh, even detailed up the hatch on the inside, hatches and stuff. <laughs> There goes the tracks on. They were tricky. I had to break the fender and shave off teeth on the sprocket to get that to fit. So if you deal with this kit, you're going to have a little bit of a problem. CA glue was needed. Oh, here's the crew figures I've put together. The driver, Oleg, and Peter. Piet Pilter. Ah, hinge detail on the top. Ah. More detail on the inside, hatches and stuff like that. Stuff that will not be seen. This is how I set it up for the Facebook. Keep on going, Bill. Ah! There's the crew, Olek and Pilters painted up. Looks like Frankenstein, the mummy. Scribed out the detail around the hatches because they were just too, too flush. So a little bit of detail thrown on the inside. I think that's about it. And I'll put them in there and there he's driving. I'm driving, baby, I'm the driver. And like I said, shims had to go all around this. The bottom lip. Bad fit. Alright, no decals and all this other stuff, blah blah blah. I was just being lazy. Alright guys, over to the actual finished model. Woo! There it is. There's Pilter and Olek in there. Once I painted the uh, cubist type uh, who's that? What the hell is that guy? I just remember. P Pieter. Mandelson or something like that. There's a famous French painter that put the paint in cubes. The guy that did like the partridge bus. Ah. Like I said, decals, they, they went on all right. A little transparent. A little transparent. Then I threw in the Eagle from Sabera's kit and license plate number. 
the real stark cubist camouflage was real stark. I threw a filter wash over it of like a, a drab, khaki drab, and that, that unified everything and toned down everything. The road wheels were some of the extra stuff I put on last. The map case for the, the commander. The little machine gun mount I took from uh, the RPM kit of the uh, the other tank kit they got with the 20mm uh, cannon. I, I like they didn't have it in the kit, so I put on this one. And the shovel and the pry bar on the front and little uh, headlight I bored out and put some clear acetate. Yeah. You can see old left driving. I'm the driver. I said 90% of the work I did on the interior is hidden. Now, now that I even put the figures in there to obscure all the work I did. But I know it's there and you saw the pictures. It's a madness, I tell you, a madness. Man, that is one small little tank. You go in the chieftain's hatch and watch this guy like uh, review this actual working, a working example of this, man. This is tiny. The guy's tall and he's like sitting there, his head's popping up over the top of it. Ah! But she turned out pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Just will need a little bit of work. If you keep the hatch closed on the top, you ain't got to deal with the interior. If you're going to have it open, you got to have something in there. And that's it. That's my Polish tankette. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Polish TK3 tankette used against the used. Try to repel the Germans when the Germans just rolled over them, but the Poles gave them some accounting. Like I said, the other version of this that had a 20 millimeter Salutheran gun that took out a lot of German tanks. Is that the 20 millimeter auto cannon on it? So they fought. Just, just, just overwhelming. The tide was overwhelming. All right, guys, that's that. Again, you always see the puppies knocked out. Siesta time here in the bunker. Right, little Lou. Luna. Little Luna. Loki. Is it siesta time? Time to take a siesta. Mm, siesta time. Little wiggle tail. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Luna wiggles that tail. Alright, guys. Keep building, keep having fun. Up next, I'll be working on my Korean War entry. You little sneaky peeky. Yeah, guys with a machine gun. Oh. Yeah, that'll be coming up soon. Till then, you guys just keep building, keep having fun. This is Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker saying, Auf Wiedersehen, mein Damen und Herren. Ciao, baby.